both be flat and stop. With the San Joaquin Valley Health Fund and their investment in a small organization, we were able to get specific funding to do a much needed study that no one else was thinking about, no one else was looking, and no one was going to fund us to do. And by doing this very direct investment in something um, that seems so small that only we could kind of do, we're now able to bring that to a much wider audience. And that wouldn't be happening if they weren't looking at the San Joaquin Valley as a place that needed this investment. None of our work can be done without the support of foundations and them having their focus and their platforms and bringing that to our communities. And we're kind of connecting with them in the middle. We're on the ground listening to community members, listening to local inst uh, public institutions about what's going on. And we really need that push from the foundation to come support us as we're trying to bridge our uh, constituents, our um, community members to decision makers at our city and county level. And so we're hoping to strengthen this parent organizing on campus, this model, and have it replicated across all the other schools that need it. All the schools that live in uh, high densities of poverty where parents aren't as engaged yet, like we want to replicate this process so that at every school site that is kind of being challenged, you know, like we have parents who are engaged and they can feel powerful and they can feel like they have an equal voice in their children's education. Oftentimes, Everyone wants someone from Stockton to speak on their panels, keynote their conferences, or you know, send people down to write about the work we're doing, but it never corresponds with an investment. That's why I applaud Sierra Health for making the initial investment and bringing other funders to the table. And I think the report about mapping place and opportunity in South King Valley really illustrates the wisdom of their approach, that you have political leadership, nonprofit leadership, and organizations with capacity in this area of the state that needs a lot of help. So why not invest there and see how far your dollars can go? I truly believe that you know the Central Valley um, really didn't have the, the visibility nor the the voice. Right, there wasn't really a unified voice for us in Central Valley. We do feed the world. We are here, and I'm really hoping that um, the funders who do come through will see that uh, you know we're a community of need. We're a community that is innovative, a community that is hungry to do better and to want better for not only ourselves, but for the future of our children and the uh, broader community. One thing that I think is really great is it brings advocates from across the region together into a shared space to talk about opportunities. We know that education, built environment, land use, immigration, healthcare issues are all related and are all impacting our communities in one way or another. And really helping bring all of us together to have shared conversations and develop a regional policy agenda that will address all of these issues in one systematic way, in a way that truly gets a systems change.